Athletics and U.S. Cellular present the Jeff Lebo Show. The Jeff Lebo Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless provider of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the Jeff Lebo Show. Another busy week for Pirate Basketball. Here we are in the American Athletic Conference playing basically two games each and every week. The Pirates were home against the Houston Cougars on Wednesday night. We'll have highlights from that game at Williams Arena Minji's Coliseum. And then the Pirates went on the road on Saturday to take on the SMU Mustangs. Highlights from Dallas from that game. Also coming up, our player profile this week, Marshall Gilmet. Brian Bailey will be by and have a visit with Marshall coming up. Hang in there with us. Coach Lebo joins me right after this. We'll be right back with more of the Jeff Lebo Show, presented by U.S. Cellular and sponsored in part by bb and sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Here's Rose spinning in the paint, lost it, stolen away. Gilmet's got the ball. Outlet pass to Tyson for the jam in the other hand. Tomahawk jam by B.J. Tyson. Hey, man, I'm stranded. You think you can come pick me up? Uh, where you at? Uh, Route 13, 50 miles out. I'm kind of busy right now. It's going to be a little bit. Awesome. Why was U.S. Cellular built to work way out here? Because being stuck in the middle of nowhere should be up to your buddy, not your spotty wireless provider. With 4G LTE coverage, for nearly 90% of our customers, you get national coverage that works harder locally. U.S. Cellular, hello better. You've built wealth by traveling your own path. Investing in the strength of your ideas. Capitalizing on the best in you. At bb and Wealth, we understand your passion for what you do and your vision for what you'll do next. That's why our experienced advisors create the financial plan that works at every step of your journey. Sharing more than 140 years of knowledge to give you the power to make the best decisions and to continue sharing knowledge of your own. bb and Wealth. Sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Gunderman Group. Gunnerman Group is growing. Getting in a groove. Growth is gratifying. The goal is to grow. Gotta get greater growth. I just talked to UPS. They've got expert advice, special discounts, new technologies, like smart pickups. They'll only show up when you print a label, and it's automatic. We save time and money. Time? Money? Time and money. Awesome. 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 I love logistics. During the Sudden Link faster, better, easier switch event, get internet five times faster than DSL. That outranks its competitors in speed and satisfaction, according to PC Mag. And get TV with free HD. Plus, access your Netflix account with TiVo from Sudden Link. Call 877-566-3401 today and enjoy 15 meg internet and TV together for only $59 a month. Plus, add phone for just $10 more a month. This way to get more for less, only from Sudden Link. Cheer on your East Carolina basketball teams this Saturday the 24th for a conference doubleheader versus Tulsa. The men battle Tulsa at noon and the women also take on the Golden Hurricane at 2.30. Kids 12 and under in their youth basketball jerseys can get tickets for only $5 on game day at Minji's Coliseum. Order your tickets online at ecupirates.com or by calling 800-DIAL-ECU. Be undaunted in your support of Pirate Basketball on the 24th. The Jeff Lebo Show continues with sponsorship by Suddenly. Bundle and save with Suddenly. And by Coke Zero. Every sip of Coke Zero is like a game-winning shot for your taste buds. 
Welcome to the Jeff Lebo Show for the Pirates. We're right in the middle of it here in January. American Athletic Conference play. A big step for your ball club, isn't it, Jeff? It is. It is a two-notch move up in this league. Great basketball traditions, Jeff. And uh, we're trying to find our way in it. It's going to take some time. And we've got a very young team that's making the, the jump uh, to this league. But an exciting jump, and it will elevate our program. You know, the schedule's been a little bit uh, funky, too, for your ball club, hasn't it? I mean, playing on different days, playing a lot of different times, too, this year. A lot of different times uh, a lot of different days um, you know the television schedule uh, you, you kind of play in those windows where they fit in and uh, the exposure that we're getting in the league is really second to none uh, chance to play uh, all of our games on ESPN the ESPN family networks really is uh, big for our program has to help recruiting I guess you get on the phone and uh, tell these guys hey we're on TV tonight it does and it's it's great for our, our basketball program but great to showcase uh, our university a lot of people know about East Carolina regionally not a lot of people know about East Carolina nationally now we can show the country what we're about well let's talk about the Houston game uh, Houston came in here looking for their first win in conference play you guys looking for your first win too well it was uh, you know Houston re really should have won against Central Florida they lost uh, heartbreaking on two bombs at the end of uh, overtime and and uh, at the end of regulation uh, a very unique team that can shoot the ball from a variety of spots and uh, I thought we played very well uh, in this game uh, especially defensively the first half and Kelvin Sampson coming back to the state of North Carolina from Pembroke and this is a guy that's won everywhere he said one of the few guys I told him before the game that understands how hard it is to get here so uh, a great coach coming off uh, six years of, of being an NBA assistant coach let's go out to Williams Arena Minji's Coliseum now and pick up the highlights as the Pirates take on the Cougars. 4,368 on a Wednesday night in Greenville and uh, coach uh, we pick up the highlights here and Terry Wisdom makes a big play. Well it was uh, it was 0-0 uh, after the first uh, four and a half minutes no one could score and uh, that was a big steal and dunk to start the game by Terry. Yeah we were talking about that at the first media timeout nothing nothing I could not remember that happening have you ever been involved in that? Oh yeah I've been involved in that many times I've had a lot of games yeah, but uh, that was tough we, we had a lot of turnovers too we didn't not start the game very well offensively and talking about stretching the defense that's what Caleb White does uh, he knocks down a three here yeah big three-point shot to get him going there give us a, a, a little bit of a cushion there a five-point lead and you talked about the good guard play a couple of big plays here by Antonio Robinson yeah Antonio I thought played one of his better all-around games he played good defense uh, and uh, look for his offense a little bit more and uh, that two good plays here a layup and a three-point shot and BJ Tyson gets a basket here and coach uh, the Pirates are up 11. We're up 11. Uh, he's playing with a lot of confidence. You can see his mid-range shot, one of the best I've had uh, as a coach uh, shooting that mid-range jump shot. Yeah, and he gets another basket here at halftime. The Pirates have a nine-point lead, 30-21. to 21. We pick up highlights now in the second half, and Coach uh, Terry Wisnick carried uh, the ball club here to start the second half. Well, big three to put us up 12. Uh, again, we, we've had uh, stretches, Jeff, where we haven't scored the ball, but I thought the, the, the second half we – we did a lot of nice things, and Terry was aggressive shooting it. And he really was a 13 to 2 run uh, for the Pirates, the biggest lead here of 13 points, coach. And then Baker comes in off the bench, a good shooter, and he knocks down a three. Yeah, he hasn't played a lot, Jeff, and he came in and knocked a couple of big shots in for them. Uh, again, he gives them an extra perimeter shooter. So Houston making the comeback here. The Pirates have to answer, and this was a really big three-pointer by Marshall Gilmet, his first of the year. Well, huge three by Marshall, and he can do that. You haven't seen that yet because he hasn't been out on the court very much, but uh, that's something we'll have to utilize here coming down the stretch. Caleb White has a good ball game. He contributes 14 points and gets a good layup here late. Big layup, again, taking the ball to the basket. We've been preaching that to Caleb, a good strong finish there with his left hand. And then Caleb White uh, gets another fine basket here in the assist by by Marshall Gilmet, and then this one was one for the highlight tape as a B.J. Tyson gets the dunk on the other end. Well, great pass by Marshall Gilmet. Uh, outlet pass leads to an easy basket. It puts us up by, puts it into a two-possession game. They're up four. Yeah, and that basket makes it 16 points on the night for B.J. And then coming back, uh, still late. Houston's in the ball game. Missed three-pointer here by Knowles, and he had a good look. 
He did have a good look. We didn't switch out when we were supposed to. Luckily, he missed that shot, and we made some free throws coming down the stretch. Yeah, Caleb goes to the line, makes some free throws, and the Pirates win it the final 66-61. to we, we definitely, you know, happy to get this win. You know, also, we don't want to, you know, get too too hyped up. We know we got to, you know, come in tomorrow, still work hard, and get ready for SMU. I'm, I'm way ready. <laughs> um, I was hyped before the game. I knew I was going to come in and play my game. I felt good shooting around early um, today in practice and on um, before the game. P.J. Tyson played well. He's had back-to-back -back good games now for the Pirates, and uh, Jeff, his minutes are increasing. They are, and he's uh, really confident right now in his game. He's practicing well, Jeff, and uh, he's not afraid of uh, making the big play. He's not afraid of being in there at the end of the game, not taking the big shot. And uh, we've got to get him a little bit better defensively at the end where I can trust him at the end. But uh, I love his energy. I love his enthusiasm. I love his toughness. Yeah, no doubt about that. B.J. Tyson, quite a freshman for Coach Lebo's program. When we come back, we'll have more right after this. DriveHereNow.com is the source for your next ride. Four locations, over 250 vehicles. We got a ride for you. Greenville Motor Company. Memorial Drive. East Carolina Auto Exchange. Charles Boulevard. Washington Motor Company. Carolina Avenue. Kinston Auto Mart. Vernon Avenue. Cars, trucks, SUVs, motorcycles. We, we got them. Good, bad, slow, no credit. You're, you're approved. approved. Credit union financing to buy here, pay here. We, we do, do it all. all. Call 252-756-5100 to get riding now or online at DriveHereNow.com. Eye Care Center, Eastern North Carolina's premier optometric specialists have become one of the few in the nation to offer patients the most technologically advanced lenses on the market, enabling the personalization of progressive and single vision lenses with our exclusive digital surfacing process that delivers high performance lenses with the most precision in their optical lab in Greenville. Call today to make your appointment for the most precise, accurate lenses on the market. Visit us in Washington, Williamson, Plymouth, and three locations in Greenville, 252-756-4204. How do you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge, the drive to innovate, the commitment to improving communities, and the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. Why do you ECU online? Because I wanted to boost my confidence in my career. Because it gives me the tools to succeed at every step of the way. Because I have a goal to earn my degree before she does. A traditional university, professional faculty, North Carolina's leader in online education. Because I'm preparing for tomorrow. It has the program I needed. Because I'm excited for tomorrow. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. On the road for the Pirates on Saturday, down to Dallas to take on the SMU Mustangs. That's Larry Brown's ball club. And Larry Brown, I'll tell you what, uh, he's a legend, isn't he? He is Hall of Fame guy. Uh, uh, I think one of four or five active coaches that are in the Hall of Fame. I have a chance to play for Coach Brown uh, when he was a coach of San Antonio when I was playing there. He's done a great job with this SMU program. Uh, sold out games. Uh, they were preseason in the top 20. Uh, they're top 20 right now in the RPI. They've uh, won, uh, I think, every game the last two years at home except for one against Arkansas, and he's really got them rolling. Tell you what, it's amazing what a commitment will do, uh, hiring a coach with a name like that and then putting so much money in their facilities. A yeah, brand new, really, uh, facility. I think $60, $70 million, a, a beautiful practice facility, and uh, really changed the face of uh, SMU basketball in a short period. Let's go down to Moody Coliseum now, pick up the highlights as the Pirates take on the Mustangs. 
The Mustangs have been a tough out under Larry Brown, who's won 72% of his ball games in his three seasons in Dallas. Rough start for the Pirates. The Mustangs jumping out to a 7-0 lead. Nick Moore leading a balanced attack that saw five Mustang players hit for double figures. Moore finishes with 14 points. The Pirates counter. Michelle and Ziggy. Nice baseline move. The lead was won, and Ziggy finishes with eight points, 10 rebounds. Another solid outing for the Pirates sophomore, Caleb White. He hits the triple, 14 points for White. Lebo said his big man could shoot the three, and that's Marshall Gilmet. Second game in a row that he drains the triple. The Pirates down nine. Terry Wisnett also finding the range. He hits for three. The Pirates down 12 at the break. The second half was dominated by the Mustangs, but the Pirates didn't quit. Wisnett on his way to a game best 24 points. He also knocked down a career best six three pointers, five of them coming in the final eight minutes. But it would be too little, too late. The Pirates fall to the Mustangs 77 54 the final. ECU now 8 and 10 overall, 1 and 4 in league play. The Mustangs improved to 14 and 4 and 5 and 1. I'm Brian Meador for the Jeff Lebo Show. Building wealth is an ongoing journey. Every step you take should lead in the right direction. At BB&T Wealth, we've spent more than 140 years sharing knowledge and helping clients plan, getting to know you as well as we know your life goals. With the strength of our experience on your side, you have the confidence to make the best financial decisions from one generation to the next, because the rewards of managing wealth wisely should always be close. BB&T Wealth, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. During the Sudden Link faster, better, easier switch event, get internet five times faster than DSL. That outranks its competitors in speed and satisfaction, according to PC Mag. And get TV with free HD. Plus, access your Netflix account with TiVo from Sudden Link. Call 877-566-3401 today and enjoy 15 meg internet and TV together for only $59 a month. Plus, add phone for just $10 more a month. This way to get more for less, only from Sudden Link. Hey, man, I'm stranded. You think you can come pick me up? Uh, where you at? Uh, Route 13. 50 miles out. I'm kind of busy right now. It's going to be a little bit. Awesome. Why was U.S. Cellular built to work way out here? Because being stuck in the middle of nowhere should be up to your buddy, not your spotty wireless provider. With 4G LTE coverage, for nearly 90% of our customers, you get national coverage that works harder locally. U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. How do you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge, the drive to innovate, the commitment to improving communities, and the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. Welcome back to the show. Each and every week we feature a pirate player. This week it's Marshall Gilmet, the big man from Kennesaw, Georgia at 6'10", the biggest player on Coach Lebo's team. And Marshall's just had some injury issues, but he's getting back now. He's starting to get back, uh, knock on wood. Hopefully we can keep him healthy here for the rest of the season. He can get his legs, game legs underneath of him, and we can figure out uh, as he tries to get back into the rotation uh, how we can best utilize Marshall, and it's uh, exciting to see him back out there playing. It's been a rough two and a half years for Marshall. I feel bad for him. 
uh, he spent more time in the training room than he has on the basketball floor. Because, Jeff, I know in the preseason, I mean, he was a big part of what you wanted to do this year. It really was, Jeff, because he's a big guy that can pass, he can shoot. Uh, he's our best low post scorer. Uh, and not to have him in there really uh, forced some guys to play some major minutes there and forced us to change what we did all through the preseason late, uh, and that was really difficult on our team. Well, it's good to see Marshall back out on the floor, and our Brian Bailey had a chance to take an up-close and personal look. Marshall Gilmet joins us tonight. Now, Marshall, talk about your role coming back from injury. How are you feeling these days? Uh, feeling good, you know, just getting the rhythm back with everything. Obviously, being out for a, that amount of time is frustrating, and it kind of throws you out of things. So just getting back on the court is great, and getting back with the guys and getting in the flow of the game is mainly what I'm focusing on right now. Is there added pressure on you because this team needs some big men down low? Uh, I wouldn't say an added pressure. I mean, I, I don't really feel anything. It's just... Um, you know, they, they, I need to be back out there for my team. You know, we only have, when I'm not out there, we really don't have a whole lot in terms of scoring inside and bigs and everything. So me being out there is just important for defense, offense, everything. So just got to get in there and get back in the rhythm of things. How tough is it as a student athlete with all the travel, all the responsibilities involved? Uh, well, just getting back from the road trip we were on is a pretty long one. Luckily, being over break, you don't miss classes. but. Um, you know, it adds up on you. At the beginning of the year, it's pretty exciting to get out on the road, but near the end, it kind of takes its toll. How much do you want to stay healthy, and how much do you want to really start helping this squad win some games? Um, more than anything. Um, you know, obviously, last year with the knee, uh, I was able to take a medical red shirt, and I thought, you know, everything was going to kind of be behind me. But obviously, I had some things pop up that, um, you know, I'm staying on top of, and, you know, I'm going to keep it on managing the rest of the year, and then hopefully this off season just – really focus on that so I don't have these problems in the future because it can't keep happening. Good luck with that. Thank you. All right, that's Marshall Gilmet. Uh, today we're with uh, Zeke Bigger, uh, one of our rising seniors, and we anticipate him to be a great leader moving into this next season. So we're starting our off season right now, and uh, we're real excited about Zeke in relationship to the fact that uh, I believe that he loves collision, and that's why I love him. So what we're going to do now today is we're going to work on his hamstrings and glutes so he can bring more power into the opposition next season. All right, what we're going to do here is step up on a box this is going to be an elevated step back lunge, really going to work the hams and glutes very well. This is a great exercise for acceleration. Here we go. All right, balance up. That's it. Give me two more reps on that side. That's it. Good. One more time. Good. Other leg. That's it. Eyes up. That's the way to balance up. Good, good. Sit. Good. That's a way to keep that chest up. Drop down. There you go. All right, good job. Let's rack it. Okay, the next exercise we'll demonstrate today is a reverse hyperextension. And Zeke's really going to use the upper hamstrings in this particular exercise. Okay, here we go. Pause and squeeze. Good. Down slope. And up. Pause. Good. Down slope. Pause, squeeze the glutes, good. Now slow, all right, good job. Uh, we're really looking forward to next season. Uh, as everybody knows, Zeke did a great job this year. And we really like the way that he played from a physical standpoint, and that's what he's known for. Uh, so it's gonna be an exciting year, and we're looking for him to lead this football team. Eye Care Center, Eastern North Carolina's premier optometric specialists have become one of the few in the nation to offer patients the most technologically advanced lenses on the market, enabling the personalization of progressive and single vision lenses with our exclusive digital surfacing process that delivers high performance lenses with the most precision in their optical lab in Greenville. Call today to make your appointment for the most precise, accurate lenses on the market. Visit us in Washington, Williamson, Plymouth, and three locations in Greenville, 252-756-4204.
imperative here is no. We, we say, say yes. yes. DriveHereNow.com is the source for your next ride. Four locations, over 250 vehicles. We got a ride for you. Greenville Motor Company. Memorial Drive. East Carolina Auto Exchange. Charles Boulevard. Washington Motor Company. Carolina Avenue. Kinston Auto Mart. Vernon Avenue. Cars, trucks, SUVs, motorcycles. We, we got them. Good, bad, slow, no credit. You're, you're approved. approved. Credit union financing to buy here, pay here. We, we do, do it all. all. Call 252-756-5100 to get riding now or online at DriveHereNow.com. How do you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge, the drive to innovate, the commitment to improving communities, and the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. Why do you ECU online? Because I wanted a program that supports students from registration to graduation. Because I want to feel connected to my professors and classmates, although all my classes are online. Because it allows me to take classes on my own time. A traditional university, professional faculty, North Carolina's leader in online education. Because I want to be ready for tomorrow. Because I am excited about tomorrow. Because my future starts here. East Carolina University, tomorrow starts here. This week's Look Ahead is brought to you by the Eye Care Center, eye doctors focused on you, and the official eye care provider of the Pirates. Welcome back to the Jeff Lebo Show. The Pirates only have one game uh, coming up this week, and that is Saturday with Tulsa. Jeff, at the top of the show, we talked about kind of a different schedule, and he don't have a midweek game this week. Yeah, we have a unique situation where we have uh, three weeks of playing, but two of those being off. So I've never really had that in the same month, but uh, a difficult challenge for us. But Tulsa leading the league right now at, at the top. Uh, all those guys back from uh, last year's team that won a Conference USA Championship. Yeah, they're really good. Very experienced. Uh, new head coach, though. New head coach. And, uh, you know, it's interesting when you have a change not to have to recruit anybody. And, and Coach Haith has got that team, kept them intact, and uh, they can really defend and rebound. Yeah, a team that knows how to win games. Coach, thanks so much for the visit. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Jeff. That's the head coach of the Pirates, Jeff Lebo. And remember now, the Pirates are home 12 noon. will be tip-off time at Williams Arena Minji's Coliseum with Tulsa in town. Have a great week, everybody. The Jeff Lebo Show has been presented by U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. This is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.